very best friend. <laughs> Please welcome Sammy Obey. senior college 
We can only extrapolate that it's 100% of senior citizens. <laughs> I got bored last week, I wrote my will, and uh, I wrote all the money goes to grandma. Because I love it. Thank you. Oh, and then I sent it to her just in case she's trying to write her will soon. I know death is a dark topic, but you know, on the plus side, did you guys know that we grow like three to five inches when we, we die from laying horizontally for so long? It's true, that's why they make caskets bigger than the body size. Whenever a girl asks me how tall I am, I'm just like, shoot, six floor casket. <laughs> friend who's 5'9", he's always like, man, I would die to be six feet. I'm like, go for it. <laughs> I haven't been uh, eating that much lately. A lot of my friends, they think I have an eating disorder, but it's not that I'm anorexic, it's that I'm financially anorexic. <laughs> it's a spending disorder. Right? It's not fair, because some people say, more money, more problems. It's like, yeah, no money, that's one big-ass problem. <laughs> I was buying a pack of bubblegum uh, today, it's called bubblegum. And the lady at the register said, hey, do you want to donate a dollar to the Make-A-Wish Foundation? I was like, uh, do you want to give me a back row? It was kind of awkward saying no, doesn't it? <laughs> I've just come to realize that we live in a very materialistic culture here in the States. I realized this when I read that one-sixth of this world's population, so a billion people in this world, actually live on a dollar a day, or less. Yeah, my first question was like, why can't one of those people be my girlfriend? <laughs> Take her to the dollar stores, get romantic. <laughs> Choose anything you want. <laughs> I find it challenging to write good jokes nowadays because you know we're living in this time of change right now. There's all this change going on in our society at this moment. I think the future is going to be really different. I think comedy is going to be really different in the future. That's why I'm trying to write jokes now that are going to kill in like 50 years. <laughs> you guys want to hear one? Yeah. 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 A couple people do. That's <laughs> all right, I'll do this one. Uh, kind of futuristic though. This joke's going to kill you in the United States. Like. ¿Por qué el pueblo que se va a caer? Press 2 for English. Every time I tell a girl, I'm going to last all night. 
about a prophet, you know. I don't really follow politics too much. I do have my own opinion on the environment. I take the Native American philosophy. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Native American uh, perspective is that we don't inherit this land from our parents, but rather we borrow this land from our children. That's why we should keep it looking good for them. And I live by this, and I apply this in my everyday life. Like the other day, my mom came up to me, and she was like, hey, Sam, you, you, know, you need to move the hell out of our house. You're 26. And I was like, look, Mom, this is neither my house nor your house. <laughs> Don't worry, that's not racist, just a bear joke. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.